Hello for SmackDown Recap. Number five. And we got me, Ashley. Me, Melissa. Justin. And some, let's see, what can we like, we could just like, we could just say, of course, talking about the page, talking about Samoa Joe and AJ Styles mm. and all that. And a couple matches and talking about, um, how we felt and, and whatnot, but. As SmackDown started, it was like Paige, she was in the ring, she was saying that what Samoa Joe did was uncalled for and he should have been like fired and stuff for that. Um, and he was, he, he was talking and then about how his daughter being scared so bad. And who said that? But AJ Styles. Well, he didn't, didn't say AJ that. Styles, he said Samoa, Ashley was talking about Samoa yeah, Joe. Yeah, I wasn't there yet. I'm sorry. But, um, Paige said uh, Small Joe didn't even get in the house because they made sure that didn't happen. So, then Paige was like, um, we informed Styles that everything's okay, you don't have to worry, and stuff. And that about charges on Joe, thinking about firing him, but Styles is begging to not fire him. And that he wants to drop the charges because he doesn't want Samoa Joe to get away that easy. He wants to fight him, fight him for what he did and stuff and make him all fired up. And he wanted to show Paige a clip of him at his house. Yeah, at his house. Saying that, sorry, he's not a SmackDown, but he feels like he wants to protect his daughter and wife because I guess his daughter's scary. Because Uncle Joe, Joe is going to get him. In the closet and all that. So, but he wants to make sure Joe, when he fights him, he wants to make sure Joe is. Polarized? Yeah. So, but I mean, like, all that situation, I mean. AJ Styles, I mean, this feud is going to continue. It's it, not going to end. I mean, it's kind of, it will continue if Joe loses because he wants that belt and he wants to beat Styles. So if Joe wins, it might end. I don't know. No, it isn't. Styles is going to win. You see it. Because like, you saw how the things know, were. Like, Some guy breaking into your house, whatever. Do you actually think that guy's going to win? But No. Well, anyway, the first match of the night was Fabulous Truth, our truth and Carmella, for Cien Olmes and Vega. And that was a surprise that Truth and uh, tr that they would win. Yeah, um, Carmella made Vega tap. Um, yeah, what a creepy crotch maneuver. I'm just like, um, hmm. I mean. I don't really care for Cian and Vega, really, but, um... They're just there. I mean, yeah. He, it's like... Well, he did do... Uh, R-Truth did dive out of the ring, I mean... Yeah, he, see, R-Truth was... It's funny. It's a funny wrestler, because it's like how funny how he likes to, um... Do funny comments. Funny, co funny, um, like, little... You see... Gimmicks like, or something? Yeah, The like, gag... The running gag is R-Truth is, is dumb. Yeah, I think it's funny. Or he's the the Eugene of the division. I kind of like Truth and Carmella as a team, actually. It's kind of... Funny. A funny pair up. And then, backstage, after that match, you'll see you got Ty Dillinger talking to Paige, saying he wants Randy for a match. Because what happened last week. And Paige is like, okay, there's going to be a match in tonight, so... And then it went to New Day. Flappy Jacks. Ooh, pancakes. Let's have some more pancakes. Next be eggs, sausage, any breakfast you could think of. Oh, yeah. Orange juice. Woohoo! And well, it's fun. funny how the audience just wants some pancakes. Oh, yeah. Oh, didn't, didn't, whatever the New Day's gag was about cereal. Yeah, where's the ice cream? Cereal. Yeah, there was supposed to be New Day ice cream. Where was that? But their outfits, what the heck? I don't know. New Day, New Days had these weird, weird, and they had that um, their like butler with them. Mr. Booty's worth. Yeah, Booty's worth. But it's funny. But it was better when the bar came out 
ruined everything, threw the New Day out, and then poured pancake mix all over the butler. We put it in the hat. Yeah. That was messed up. But it's funny, I was like, you're worried about... You're all acting like children. You wor- you're not worried about your match. You're worried about playing with food. <laughs> like, what, what's going to be next? I mean... But here we go. But the the I mean, New Day Cesaro kept saying is that a he's good the team, Swiss... but they're a good team for kids. Well, Cesaro kept saying he's the Swiss chef. So now I'm picturing since the Muppets are always involved in wrestling, I see Seamus as you mean tartar sauce. Oh, <laughs> I see Seamus as the beaker and Cesaro as the Swiss chef. Someone better make some fan art of that. I don't know. Tartar sauce with his spiky ass hair. You might see it. You don't know. You can use his hair as a blender. Um, and that was all that. So yeah. then you end up got in the next match, number two. Randy Orton versus Ty Dillinger. Like oh, I said earlier. Like, I'm sorry. I'm but... like, whoa, that match again. Was crazy. crazy. Ty Dillinger's in the ring. Yeah, Ty and Dillinger then, was in the ring. And then Randy comes out due to his uh, to, uh, comes out in his entrance, and Ty Dillinger just ups and attacks him. Yeah, before the yeah. match even started. Didn't start, but then he got all that and did the nasty thing again. Yeah, like he did with Jeff Hardy. Well, t- uh, Ty Dillinger got a few uh, got a few kicks in, a few punches there, and then Randy Orton got a comeback, and then drive um, Dillinger's thumb. Through the was it one of the support yeah, rings tied ropes or something? for the ropes? Yeah, like yeah. I started pulling on it, pulling, pulling on the it, finger, bending it, bending it. It's like, ugh. God, surprised you didn't see blood. It's like, but it's yeah. fake. Yeah, it's we not probably true. dislocated it. Probably. No, he didn't, Missy. There's no way. There's no way they'll intentionally break a wrestler's limbs or anything right I don't there. Know. Sometimes it's got real pretty bad uh. blood. That's when the stuff's unintentional. But you when mean someone... like when he put the thing in his ear and just twist twist it. It. screwdriver? Twist it. There's twist. no way that that's what, what, unintentional. You knew they planned that out. Otherwise, yeah, but... why else would there be a screwdriver? Yeah, but that's got to hurt. Yeah. Mean... Next match. He, well, and then after that match was Shelton Benjamin with the Miz, and Miz just saying. Well, the Miz just showed up. Miz is like, "Are you Mizzy go- Wizzy?" Yeah, Mizzy Wizzy gonna be. Uh, is he gonna beat Danny Bryan? And Shelton's like, "Yes, I'm gonna beat him." And then Miz is like, "No, you're gonna mishandle him. You're gonna, you're just gonna pull his beard off and just hurt him." No, no, Miz was the one that's like, "You need to destroy him. You have yeah. to pull the beard off." And Shelton's like, I need this win. I want to show what I am. I want to show who. And then, then you have um. The Lana, the, the Milwaukee thing. The Milwaukee yeah, thing finally. Aiden Angles, um, showed the film. showed a film clip, like a little clip of him standing in a hotel there room. in a room, and Lana knocking on the door and opens in. Lana's like. I need you. I want you. Yeah, it was weird. And then it just stopped right there. And then Aiden's like, and then Angus is He's like, He's got the rest. I got the rest, but I can't show you because it's TM- inappropriate. TMZ. Yeah. Whatever. So I was like, Then Rusev just runs out of the ring and chases him. And cha- tries yeah. to chase after Aiden English. <laughs> and then it's like, they're in backstage, Lana and Rusev, because Lana caught up to him. And she's like, and then Rusev's like, no. I will handle you later. I want Aiden English. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's what's going to happen in Australia. So it's probably going to be Aiden English. Rusev, it's going to be Rusev Day in Australia. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So that was like, whatever. Next then, match. Daniel Bryan versus... Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Dustin. Mr. Daniel Bryan versus Shelton Benjamin. The match was pretty good. Yeah. And then the, till the Miz, sh- the Miz got into the ring... Distracted Daniel Bryan, and then Shelton Benjamin didn't know what's going on, pins Daniel Bryan. Well, actually does his move and pins him. Yeah. And then the Miz, being all crazy as he is, obsessed with Daniel Bryan, goes and attacks him after the match is over. Uh, it's like, we already know who's winning that match. We already know who's winning that match. It's probably going to be Daniel Bryan, because all the wins would Miz and Miz and Miz. Finally, Daniel Bryan has to get a win, right? I well, mean, what if the Miz wins? Because 
Like if Miz wins again, this is gonna be more feud with Daniel Bryan and yeah. the Miz. It's no gonna, way. it's gonna be. Like I said, it's gonna continue. They're gonna, it's gonna be daughters versus. It's, it's gonna, never it's gonna ending. be Monroe Sky versus Birdie Danielson. Oh yeah, <laughs> baby fights. Good little baby girl fights fighting. And yeah, she's gonna have like birds come. Because <laughs> her name's Birdie, so I yep. And then next match you have Oscar versus Peyton Royce. Oscar Lynn. Yeah, of course. We all know Oscar. Peyton was not ready for Oscar. She was never ready. But um And nor is she gonna be ready when they were gonna she came back. But Peyton and freaking what's her name? Billy Kay fucking did that stupid thing how they freaking had this Look. pose looking thing. I'm like creepy. What no. the hell was that? What it was that? I don't even want to know what that was. Moving on. But, and then of course the last thing was just Becky Lynch Super Showdown Surprise. She's just showing a poster that she, she's going to be dominant over Charlotte. It was, the, it was one of the pictures that they took during, was it the fake camera segment with Charlotte? Yeah. With, with um, Becky Lynch holding the title, standing over a defeated Charlotte. And then Charlotte shows up. Yep. And then... And Charlotte coming out and running and going to attack her and stuff. Yeah. Then she wins. And of course Charlotte's actually standing out tall. Showing that she is the well, most better one. Well, who do you think is going to win that but, match? Um, if I had to pick, I mean, ooh, um, I'd probably still say Becky. Becky yeah, Becky it. still needs to keep it. Because, I don't know, I just like feel like Charlotte, I mean, she's good, she just, no. Oh, you know something? You wanna know who's gonna win? Whoever plays them on 2K19. Yeah. I feel that's how the wrestling game should play as. It's so, um, yeah, that's pretty much. Smackdown. Like. And then also, if, what do you think of the news? Like the special time at 5 a.m. In, in the morning. Yeah, well, the super show, the super showdown at like 5 a.m. You like, know the really? hardcore. You know the the hardcore fans. Are going to get up at five yeah, in the five morning. In the morning. To watch. Why would they even do a special time? Like, really? If they're up so used in to Australia. Australia. Like, like the time know. differences. Australia. I mean, we're so used to seeing it at seven o'clock. But you never know. But that's what's good on the network. If you can't watch it at five a.m., you just watch it the next yeah. day. Fucking different time. So watch it when it's convenient for you. So that's what's good with the network. But. So, so you say what you feel about SmackDown and whatnot and yeah, what? How will you feel about the time thing and what you feel about these matches? So make sure you like, comment, subscribe for more Raw SmackDown recap.